All right, guys, the results are in from the 2018 Toronto Pro. Juan Morel picking up the win here. In second place, you have Akeem Williams. Tremendous placing for Akeem. I mean, this is a really big deal for him. He beat Cedric McMillan, who's a top Olympia placer. Um, this is a guy that won the Arnold Classic. Akeem Williams is a guy that struggled with his conditioning pretty much his entire career. Um, and he finally comes in decent conditioning. I wouldn't say great, but good for good for Akeem um, and beat Cedric. So Cedric comes in third. Then you have Antoine Vaillant, the comeback kid, man. This is a crazy comeback for him. Um, I said in my prediction video, it would be a tremendous accomplishment for Antoine to place anywhere in that top six. If he would have placed sixth, I would have been extremely happy for him. Um, but him placing fourth, I think, is tremendous. That's awesome for Antoine. I'm really happy to see him in fourth. Um, and in fifth place, you had Rafael Brandau. So that is your top five. Obviously, Nathan Diasha decided not to do that show. Um, so let's talk a little bit about these guys. So Cedric McMillan, I would say, is the disappointment of the show. Um, when he announced that he was competing, I think a lot of people were excited. A lot of people were interested in the show. And a lot of people thought that Cedric was going to win. Cedric, clearly the biggest name in this lineup um, and arguably the most disappointing physique in this lineup. And the reason for that would clearly be his conditioning. His conditioning was lacking. There's no question about it. And this is a lineup of guys that all of them really came in with pretty good conditioning. I mean, Juan Morel, some people say he wasn't conditioned in New York. I think certainly tonight, Juan Morel's conditioning cannot be questioned. He had great he had great conditioning. Um, certainly next to Akeem Williams, he was the more conditioned guy. Certainly next to Cedric, he was the more conditioned guy. And he deserved the win um, for that fact. And Antoine Vaillant, in my opinion, one of the most conditioned guys in this entire lineup. I mean, talk about a crazy classic physique. Ripped to the bone, shredded. Um, arguably some of the best legs on stage, man. Antoine Vaillant has a bright future ahead of him. I think this is just the beginning of his comeback. Um, again, don't be disappointed that he didn't win the show. I don't think anyone really ever expected he was going to win um, his first show right out of the gate in his comeback. But this is tremendous for him. I'm really happy for him. Um, really glad that he plays fourth. And on a personal note, he actually watched my video that I did talking about his comeback and he commented it. So that was a very cool thing for me to see him watching my videos and commenting. So Antoine, if you're watching this, congratulations, bro. Uh, certainly a very good placing for you. And Raphael Brandau in fifth. I'm not really sure how I feel about this. I think Raphael could have beat a guy like Cedric. I think Raphael um, could have moved up to a third or fourth spot and Cedric could have actually moved down to a fifth or sixth spot. Now, I know a lot of people might disagree with that because Cedric is a very popular guy. Um, he's one of the bigger names in this lineup. But honestly, I don't think conditioning like that should be rewarded with a third place finish. I mean, even though Cedric is a big name guy, great structure, great physique, um, the conditioning like that, man, we've seen much, much better versions of Cedric. I think Antoine could have beaten Cedric and I think Raphael could have beaten Cedric. I would have had the placings, honestly, you know, maybe Antoine ahead of Cedric in third and Cedric in fourth, um, possibly in fifth. I think overall Cedric did have the structure to place highly in that top six, but that conditioning, I just don't think it should be rewarded. So I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below about Cedric's conditioning. And then if we go over to the 212 side of things, you had Zane Watson picking up a major win over Cody Montgomery. Now, I was actually wrong about this 212 result in my prediction video. I was pretty spot on about the men's open guys, but I actually had Cody edging out Zane for the win. Um, but it turned out I was wrong, and Zane actually ended up beating Cody, and Cody looked very disappointed on stage. Um, I think he was definitely hoping to win his 212 debut. Um, probably not a very exciting night for him placing second. Um, I think he was hoping to do a lot better than that. But I'm certainly not going to say Zane didn't deserve it. Zane has an incredible physique. He's an incredible 212 guy. And this is a guy that's certainly going to be on the radar at the 212 Olympia. Zane Watson, he placed second at the New York Pro to Sean Clarita. This is a guy, he's definitely, you know, he's on the map. Great physique, great conditioning. His dad is a golden era bodybuilding legend, uh, Mike Watson. So Zane is certainly someone we need to watch out for in the future. So those are the results of the 2018 Toronto Pro. I hope you guys enjoyed the coverage. It is 11 o'clock where I am now, so I stayed up um, pretty much all day waiting for the results of this show so I can give you up-to-the-minute coverage. Um, the pre-judging started really late, which I, I thought it started earlier in the day, so I've been watching um, the updates from the show since this morning because I thought Men's Open was going to be this morning, but it wasn't. Men's Open wasn't until about 7 o'clock my time. Um, so I've been waiting all day to give you guys this coverage, so I hope you guys did enjoy it. Please give the video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. Nick Strength of Power, signing out.